Hey everyone, on a link here, and welcome back to Let's Play Tombo, where last time we cleared out Trick Village by capturing the evil pig and made our way into the underground. Today we're going to be wrapping up as much as we can of the rest of the game. This is the cleanup episode where we find the last few items and the last few events just to see how close we are to done. We have 107 events complete out of 130. There's only 14 events that we haven't even found yet. And a good chunk of them are story related. As for side quests, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're pretty damn close to the end. Alright, let's get started. Dig, dig, dig. Phew, digging is my life, but this wall is pretty difficult. Hold on, I promise you I'll get, open up a way for you to get through. Alright, thank you, friend. You keep up your digging. If we head down here, we got needle gator teeth. Cheese? Hang on, let me mark these off. These are very important that we mark off. Hey, 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 step back, You'll, you can get hurt. Okay. There's a lot of chests we can grab down here. We got cold medicine. What's in this house? Hmm, well, what a pleasant surprise. I hardly get any visitors anymore. Did you see the door that won't open? I saw... I definitely saw some doors down here, actually. Uh, we'll check that out in a minute. Anything up here to the north? I want to make sure we've explored everything we can before we start opening shit. More cheese? There's so much cheese around here. I've heard that a fortune teller in this is in this underground maze too. I've never met him, but I'm sure you need some ridiculous amount of AP points. Alright, apparently there is a blue fortune teller down here. Let's see. Let's take a look around. There was one door over here that looks like we can open it. Maybe this is what we need to use the thieves wire on that the uh that was given to us by the 10,000 year old man. Where's that thieves wire? Here we go. The door opened and the wire broke. Uh oh, that's a problem. All right, what's in this room? Hello. Why you scared me? How did you get in here? What? A wire? Your wire broke? Hmm, so that's why you're in trouble. In other words, all you need is a wire that won't break, right? Yes. I know, the thieves' tools might be in the Haunted Mansion. It just so happens that one of our friends is at the Haunted Mansion right now. Find him and ask him about it. Alright, we gotta get back to the Haunted Mansion then to find a, find a wire that won't break. And you must be the blue fortune teller. I am a fortune teller who can read your future. Well, it looks like you have enough. Let's have a look. Hmm. Blue is the beachside door, orange is the deep jungle, yellow is the guard of time, and the remaining blue is here, somewhere in this underground maze. Go see the million-year-old wise man first. Your battle is yet to come. Take this from the fortune tellers. Got a vitality max plus one. Please watch out for yourself. Alright, that's all the events we can take care of here on the underground for now. We got a few hints. We gotta find the million year old man, and we gotta go find some unbreakable wire, but there's a lot of things we can open up down here. Have you met the million year old wise man yet? No, I have not. There's a lot of treasure we can get down here. Got some cheese. Up here we've got charity wings. Over here, we have two more chests, lunchbox, and this one is a biting plant flower. Okay, how about down this way? There is another room over there, we'll check it out later. God, there are a lot of little rooms in this 
tunnel. Hello. Can't open that yet. How about in here? What do we got in here? I went to dig a tunnel over there, but there was already a really weird room there. Oh? Let's go check it out. We got a cheese chest. We have so much cheese. I think we might have enough to finish off the cheese please quest too. As long as we have 15, we're good. And this is the strange small room. Every evil pig we have beaten so far will appear here. It's basically our progress tracker. We've got five of the seven. Okay, there's two more chests we can grab while we're here in the underground. Or three more chests? I only counted two more in my list. Got a Coca Claw, cheese, and an extra lunchbox that was not on my list. Oh, this is right behind the fortune teller's house. Okay, so this was quite the exploration. We found quite a few things down here. Let's get out. And we find another entrance to the underground. There are many little doors like that hidden throughout the game. You may have seen quite a few of them, just random doors that we couldn't open before. Well now, when we come out of them from the underground, we're gonna start finding our way back here. Which is so nice, or not here specifically, but back up to the overworld. Which is so nice. So nice that we can finally figure out what those doors are for and open them up. Okay, next. We're going to head back to the 10,000 year old man. And please let him have that event ready for us now. What are you staring at? Oh, I see. You were mesmerized by my unusual collection, weren't you? But the most precious of them all is the fish on top of that table. That is the psychic fish. If you use it, it gives you special powers. Now come on, stop looking at the fish so longingly. I'll tell you what, I'd be willing to exchange my special fish for the five golden items. But forget it, man, no one knows where the items are. Well, I'll at least tell you the names of the items. Let's see, there's the golden flower, which we have. The golden fruit, we don't have. The golden leaf butterfly, which we have. Um, there's the golden candy, we don't have. And the, the oh, there's one more. Now, what is it? Oh, well. Anyway, I won't exchange my fish for anything less than all five. There, he finally gave us that event. Here we go. This is such an impressive fish, no matter how many times I look at it. Alright, got my notes all back in order and we're finally back on track. Now that we know about the golden items and the fact that we don't know one of them, we have something we can go ask the Tree of Knowledge. What is that last golden item? Well, good news, we have half the items that we know about. So we're on good pace. Come on, let me do my double jump. On to the bird, please. Ask the bird a question. What is it? Is there something you want to ask the tree? Ah, uh, the five golden items. Wait a minute, okay? Well, you're trying to gather some things that are really difficult to find. Really? The old, ready? The old tree says, The golden flower is in the dwarf's flower garden. We have it. The golden fruit is in Bacchus village. We don't have it. The leaf butterfly is in the hidden village. We have that. The golden candy is in the witch's hut. We know her. Do we have all the ingredients yet? We might? We might not. I'm not sure. And there's one more, but he says that he forgot. But he says that the motocross course sounds vaguely familiar. Well, in that case, it must be the gold medal, which we have. 
And also, for any of the items, you need to do something in order to get them, okay? All right. Well, good news. We have three of those, and I know how to easily get the other two. I know exactly where the other two are. In fact, we're going to get one of them right now. Back to Bacchus Village. Okay, we're gonna head on over into here and speak to you. So were you able to find any cheese? Wow, that's a lot of cheese. I'll have to give you something really special now. Here, take this, it's a golden fruit. There's number four. One more golden item. Okay. How are we doing on the ingredients for the candy. We have the Coca-Cola Needle Gator Teeth, Silver Powder Molasses, um, the Biting Plant Flower, and there was one more. There's one more that we need. Do we have it? I don't think we have that last ingredient yet. Okay, we definitely don't have it. Unfortunate, but acceptable. We just need one more ingredient. We can go get that candy from Mizuno. And that must be the golden candy that was talked about. I really want to get that psychic fish. Okay, now then, heading into the mansion. Which side of the mansion are we on? south side. We want to get up to the north side. And I believe we want to head up here into the large keyhole door. Hello, sir. Why are I use it? All, I used to use it all the time. I'm sure there's one left somewhere around here. You don't have it though. Uh oh. I thought it was in this room. Hmm. Guess we have to go hunting. And there's so many damn rooms in this mansion. gotta find that little small digger there you are here this is for helping out oh yeah I've already got that thank you though what's in here I've never gone in this room before it's an elevator deep underground leading to another entrance of the underground Awesome. We'll have to make good use of that. Actually, no, we can just Baron to fast travel. So we don't actually need that, but good to know there's more entrances to the underground. Okay, where is that thieves wire? That unbreakable thieves wire. What kind of thief has his own house stolen? I've already spoken to you. Where on earth could it be? Yeah, yeah, 
I know they said there was one of their digger friends here, so if we can find them, then that's probably the room. Hello there. Home sweet home. Thanks, Tomba. You are very welcome. Come on, let me up. There we go. Maybe this door? Where the heck is this digger? Wow, it's been a long time since they ran us out of here. Well, you're back now. Don't let the pigs do it again. Ow. How about in here? Here we go. Hello, friend. What do you want from me? Wire? Wire that doesn't bend? Ha ha ha, are you kidding me? Do you think I have something like that? Well, actually, I do. But what makes you think I'm gonna give it to you, someone like you? Finders keepers? Oh, fine. If you're gonna pout like that, you can have it. It's yours. You don't gotta be rude again about it. All right, we got our unbreakable wire. Now, Baron, get us back to the underground. Oh, how dare you. Oh, so my capture card just went funky on me. It should still be recording fine. Never in my life has it gone funky in this exact way and also fucked up the recording itself. Usually when it does this, it just makes it sound strange on my TV. And by sound strange, I mean it's the sound's like five seconds behind the gameplay, but it's fine. This game isn't a game where I need audio to tell what's going on. Okay, back into the underground. You're still working on that. Okay, where is a door I can open? How about this door? I can't use it! How rude. Okay, let's take a look around, see if we can find a way deeper into this area. Have you met them? Yes, I have not met the million-year-old wise man yet, but I have spoken to you. Hmm. Underground here, it said that this is a legendary place where treasures were stored. Okay, good to know. Oh, here we go. This is how we get to this room. Can I open this up real quick so we have a shortcut? Can't use it. Come on, I'm right here. All right, what do we have in here? So, you finally made it here, eh? No wonder all the other elders were impressed by you. You have very beautiful, very pure eyes. Yes, you just may be the one. Your eyes tell me so. Well, let's talk about the evil pigs. The reason why they're collecting gold, the very source of their evil magic, comes from the gold. By collecting more and more gold, they seek to unleash more powerful evil spells. That's why they are so relentless in their search for gold. It's been said from long ago that evil forces reside in gold, you know. But it's becoming too dangerous to allow the evil pigs to go on like this. So that's why the pigs are gathering gold. We must stop them before they acquire too much gold and too much power. First, you must seal the pigs one by one in the evil pig bags you have collected so far. The 10,000 year old man tells me that you've been to all seven lands already. It shouldn't be hard to find all of the evil pig bags now. If you still haven't found all of them, you must go back to the areas that you haven't fully explored yet. I desperately hope that someday all these seven evil pigs will be sealed away forever. Well, we're well on our way. 
And I see you have an evil pig door right in here. La la la, the sky is blue and so beautiful. La la la, blue, blue, blue. Thank you, thank you very much. Let me thank everyone for coming to my concert by singing just one more song. A one, a two, a one, two, three, wah! How long have you been standing there? You heard me? Oh, how embarrassing. So tell me, what did you think of my angel-like voice? I'm just kidding. In fact, I don't like being embarrassed. I'm afraid this is a very serious matter. All right, evil pig. Let's go to your god! Well, this is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Ah, god, okay. I'm gonna grab you, throw you in- oh, fuck. Missed. Damn you, evil pig. No! Oh, barely missed it. I do not like this fight, not one bit. Ow. Ow. And gotcha. Awesome, we got another evil pig sealed. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna reset my capture card because that audio glitch is bothering me now. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and grab Baron. And let's get ourselves over to Phoenix Mountain because now that we have the million year old key, we can go grab another very useful item. And we're coming right up to the end now, which makes me very excited. We have just one more evil pig to go, and we have the bag for it. Oh, hello! Charity wings, which I don't need, but greatly appreciate. Oh, hello! Right, you've all turned back into humans. Where the heck am I? Perfect! That's exactly the item I was looking for, a Vitality Max plus one. Okay, next we are going to head back to the Mushroom Forest. Now that the 100 Flower Forest is finally free of its curse... There's a set of events we can take on here. All right, in the back of this area, we have... Oh, the yellow bonsugi are here. And if we take a look around, there should be a dwarf hanging out around here somewhere, right? No? I thought there would be a dwarf hanging out in this area, but I guess not. All right, let's go ahead and fight the yellow bonsugi. Well, that's a problem. Hey, Bonsugi, can you come down here? Come down here so I can fight you. Let me blind you. Jump on your friend. And die. Two more hits. Blind. Jump. And... Smash. That works. Not how it was supposed to go, but it works. Blind, jump, and last hit. We got a tear bottle. Now 
Now then... There should be a dwarf around here we can talk to, but I don't see him anywhere. Alright, well in that case, we're just gonna have to take a look around this forest ourselves and see if we can find... ...a particular thing. There's a particular flower we are looking for. Ooh, I'm gonna love that. I'm gonna love that so... Right, okay, it needs to recharge. Forgot about that. Oh, we gotta re-equip the Jewel of Wind every time we die? How dare you. Alright, Jewel of Wind, get up here. Now again, there should be a dwarf running around we can talk to. I have no clue where they are. Oh well. Oh, there you are! Hello, dwarf! Can I... talk to you? Here, let me get rid of this flower first. I came to get some flower tears. I need them to revive Charity Fountain. The problem is that I don't know how to get the flower tears. Tears from a flower to revive Charity Fountain. Got it. So we are looking for flower tears. Uh oh, we got the sobbing flowers. Let's hope we don't cry too much and cause a ruckus. Okay, so what we are looking for is a very particular flower. I believe we are looking for a flower that has not yet bloomed. One of the large background flowers, specifically, that has not yet bloomed. Okay, extra life. Nice. Where is that unbloomed flower? Nice! Extra life from the million-year-old chest. Let's... okay, I'm getting uncomfortable. Let's... use the ordinary mushroom, get back to normal. Where is it? Where's my ordinary mushroom? There it is. Oh? Hang on. What's that over there? Hang on. You- you go laugh. I found an unbloomed flower. Okay. Now how do we wake this flower up? Do you have anything in our inventory that'll work? How about some rise and shine powder? And the flower wakes up, and it's crying! And it has tears. Such a sad little flower. I'm gonna get your flower tears. Now then, let's get back to Charity Square. Um, ordinary mushroom first. Get rid of our laughter. And Baron, get me to Charity Squarity. Let's go deliver these flower tears. And fix Charity Fountain. Oh, this is beautiful! I love this forest! Alright, I bring to you... Flower Tears. The fountain is fixed.
and the flower tower reaches high into the sky. With 1 million AP, we can enter. And get the sacred fish. What does the sacred fish do? I have no idea what that did. I hope it was something good. I might have to look up what that does. Hi, right, what does the Tomba Sacred Fish do? Because there is no explain. There was no explanation right there. All right, Sacred Fish. Just allows you to move fast. Apparently it's just a way to move faster and jump higher. Okay, fair enough. Now then... Uh, what's the fastest way back to the mushroom forest? We could take the leaf slider. Nah. We're gonna go ahead and take... Oh, God damn it! We're gonna take Baron. We need to head back to the Mushroom Forest one last time. Because now that we have the million year old key, we can head to the mansion one last time to get that last chest in there. To the mansion we go. Whee! Oh, this is so much fun flying around like this. This is your last trip you have to take me on, sir. Thank you so much for all of your help. We arrive at the base of the mansion to find, oh? The door we normally go in is blocked off and a new door is opened. What's this all about? Why, it's the last evil pig door. Let's do it. Hey, how dare you disturb my nap? Ah, put some clothes on for goodness sake. Oh no, my nose is all turned up. This used to happen only when I slept face down. I didn't sleep face down today. What's going on? I can't let you leave now that you've seen me like this. Be prepared. Today was your unlucky day. We have found the final evil pig who has cast a curse on Masakari jungle. You have pig bombs. You have scent bombs. Oh dear. Mm, this is going to be rough. Isn't it? You're not gonna let us get a get you into that bag, that e oh, never mind. Pig goes right in the bag. We are done. That is the last evil pig. What? How could this be? All seven pigs have been sealed, and yet... Another evil pig bag and another evil pig gate. This can only mean, listen carefully now. 
I heard that there could be one more evil pig hiding somewhere, but until now I thought it was just a rumor. This pig has to be the one that controlled the other seven, the ultimate evil pig. The good news is that we have the evil pig back, and the gate is right here before us. Now all we need to do is... Take on the real evil pig. Ha ha ha, there's no way you'll open that door, give it up! Ha ha ha! Oh no, must, must the weak follow the strong? Hmm, this is... Hmm, yes, this is something like a test of wits. The door closed and the evil pig that was here disappeared. So, if seven people get on top of the seven sands, the door should open. We need seven friends. I get it. We need to find seven friends that are willing to help us. I'll wait here until you get back, so tell your friends to come straight here. I'll explain everything to them. If you can't get seven people, come back here anyway. Next time on Let's Play Tomba... We need to go back around the world and find seven friends to help us while also finishing off the last few events. Once we have all seven friends, we can take on the real evil pig. I will see everyone next time.